very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking as you can see yesterday we had really one amazing day and very profitable signals we have sent yesterday on our premium forex signals group as you can see my friends all of the signals have reached the take profit number one and two and even today morning uh, a signal from yesterday has reached the take profit number one in the decad however Today we had one loss with the Euro NZD with 27 pips of loss only against Euro GPY. We, it has hit the take profit number one with 20 pips of profit. The thing is we never let the signal to reach the stop loss and by that we are saving your funds and saving your account from being blown and reduces the losses to the maximum and thankfully we have already received positive messages from the members who have joined today the service and as you can see this gentleman here he has paid 50 euro per month just to join and he have earned 190 dollars of profit just today only best signal provider hope you all the best thank you sir and i hope you are enjoying the service we are providing in the premium signals group so if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact Angela. You can find her contact details in the description below this video. Contact her today and hopefully we will see you there. So it's time now to make the review about the signals that I have sent last Saturday. And the first thing we can notice that the Euro USD signal has actually almost failed because the pair did not reverse on the entry level I have given and the pair just kept rising more and more until it hit the edge of the safe zone and then it started reversing uh, this signal is still considered as failed because it has already exceeded the safe zone which i have given so therefore uh, my apologize for the signal and i have to explain that mr trump actually when he left the hospital for a trip just to actually um he, he just wanted to see his uh, supporters outside the hospital. He just went out of the car, out, out in the in the car trip, and just went back to the hospital in just a few minutes. You believe it or not, that has affected the prices of the go, uh, of the of the do, of the dollar. It affected the market just by him leaving the hospital and coming back. So, actually, that uh, that also has affected the prices of the oil. And the reason is because um, it has been proven that his health, thankfully, is uh, safe. And therefore, uh, we believe that he is no more in uh, any uh, risk uh, condition. Anyway, what we can expect right now from the Euro USD. Right now, what we can notice here that the Euro USD has actually made the break out from that resistance level. Therefore, uh, we can expect from the Euro USD to actually continue the rise until it hit the previous support level. And from that point, it's going to be good to start the short. Euro USD, as I said before, is in general falling down. However, what we are witnessing right now is just the pullback. And we can expect from the pair to actually uh, fall down after hitting the resistance level right there. It's important actually to understand where is the strong resistance levels. So let's go back to the 4-hour time frame. And of course, allow me please to erase the previous signal. Now let's see where are the strongest levels of the resistance on the Euro USD. If we check the chart like that, we can notice that this level I have drawn here, if we check the history, we can see that it was here a support level and here it was also a resistance which has been ranging for quite a long time. Remember I'm on the four hour time frame candles and it was also here a support level and not to mention of course it was also here a support and here it was a previous support level. That means after the breakout, after the market retesting the broken sub, uh, resistance level, it's going to continue the rise. And then from that point, we can start shorting the Euro USD. And the safe uh, zone is going to be ranging from that entry level until the next resistance. And I really highly doubt that, highly doubt that the pair can rise above that level. Um, as you can see, the pair is already reversing. We need to wait for this candle to close before decide the final shape of it and the candle is gonna close actually after 54 minutes so i'm not really sure what will gonna happen after fi after 54 minutes if the um market gonna change actually if the price action is gonna be changed for example if the candle is gonna close like that as it is this last candle the red candle if it closes as it is right now like that in this price action or this shape that means most likely that the pair is gonna continue the fall right away 
however that cannot be determined right now so we have to send the signal so your usd is gonna be good for the short on one sorry 1.18304 and as i mentioned the safe zone is gonna be ranging uh, until the resistance level like that because that is the highest resistance level in the pattern and the safe zone is going to be ranging for almost 50 pips which is fair enough so i'm just let me just draw for you the safe zone shape just like that and of course in this case the take profit level is going to be of course the lowest support level right here so we are looking for almost 113 or 133 pips of profit hopefully we will make them all so the take profit 1.16953 again hopefully it's gonna be fixed and we will enter it again and make some decent profits let's now take a look at the pound UST a pound USD signal is actually active and it's a good signal and it's going in the profit uh, it was a good signal and as you can see right now pound USD is going in almost uh, 49 I think 40 or 50 maybe yeah almost 50 pips of profit and seems like the pair is gonna continue the fall however um, we have to talk about this price action here this candle which is being performed right now because this candle actually right now it is on a support level so it's important to understand that we are right now facing a strong key support level right here and right there so the candle is right now or the price actually is on the same level of the support <coughs> what does that mean that means that if this candle gonna close exactly like that as this price action of a reverse pin bar that's gonna be a strong indicator for a continuation in the bullish growth or the rising so therefore we have to be careful and pay attention to how this candle closes uh, if it closes as a red candle if like that for example if it closed like that as a red candle then that's mean uh, that means that the candle or the market is gonna continue the fall and hopefully the candle is gonna hit our take profit level but if the candle has closed exactly like that after 50 minutes that means that the market might actually continue the rise again to hit that resistance right there and then from that point it's gonna continue the fall anyway all in all the signal is active and it's going well so far i don't think in either scenarios it can exceed the or actually can rise above the uh, safe zone so uh, pound usd signal is active and in 50 pips of profit let's keep it as this way AUD USD signal is also has been active and as we can see the can uh, the trade is now going in 31 pips of profit very good signal and I wanted to mention also my friends that you should never rush to to judge the signal when it goes in loss there is a reason why I'm drawing the safe zone because it's expected from the market to continue the rise above my entry point of the sell and you cannot decide if the trade goes in, in loss immediately once you see the candle or the market uh, uh, inside the safe zone that's the problem actually with some followers they just want the reverse to happen exactly at the level I have mentioned they cannot accept the idea that the market might range inside the safe zone however uh, AUD USD signal is still going fine and we can expect from the pair to actually reverse at that support level there is a possibility yes that it's a possible uh, it's a possibility uh, there is a chance that the market might reverse on that uh, previous support level to create another pullback and before and uh, after that the market is going to continue the fall therefore uh, the signal is active and it's going well in the profits so let's keep it as it is usd cad usd cad as we can see the signal hasn't been triggered exactly from the level, uh, level i have given and the pair just continue the fall however we need to understand why did the pair continue the fall like that actually what we can see right here is we had here another uh, a resistance level but also we had right here another resistance level and what we can notice right here my friends that let me just delete the or actually i will keep it let me just draw another, another line so what we can notice right here that this resistance has already been retested by this support by this candle here so that resistance has already become here another support level then the market kept falling down retesting now the broken resistance level and that le that resistance level right here was actually much stronger than the resistance on 1.32747 so 
actually now the structure seems to be for the bullish and if we draw here a, a, a support trend line as we can see the pair is continuing the, the rise actually we can draw it like that like this so as we can see the the support trend line has been respected and the pair seems like it's gonna continue the rise so therefore a uh, usd cat signal was going in loss for almost 30 pips i would say or 29 pips only and right now it's again back in the profit so again my friends it's just ranging in the safe zone no more don't consider it as a failed signal because it is still inside the safe zone and therefore we can expect from the usd cat to be a profitable signal as well we just have to wait some more time and let's see what will gonna happen uh, as i told you i i'm expecting by thursday but sorry today is tuesday so by wednesday night that the market is gonna rise to hit that resistance level let me tell you just what i'm expecting so after the reverse from that resistance level the market is actually gonna continue the rise to hit that resistance level right here and then it's gonna fall back or sorry fall down a little bit more to hit also that support level that support level is gonna be respected again as another support and then the pair from that point is gonna continue the rise to hit the resistance on 1.34013 so i'm just telling you my expectations for how the price is gonna move let's see uh, if my prediction is gonna go well and yeah we have to be careful and don't expect uh, from the trade to be profitable immediately it might take some time let's check right now the usd gpy usd gpy was also ranging inside the safe zone for almost 14 or 15 pips only and in general right now the pair is going actually it's a break even however i believe after seeing the rejection here to break out from the resistance most likely it seems like the usd gpy is going to continue the bearish momentum or the bearish reversal so let's go to the daily candles now check this out if the daily candle has closed in this price action as a reversed hammer that means this can this or, or sorry the next candle is definitely gonna be bearish because this is one of the strongest price actions you can ever see uh, for the reversal if you check the history you can see that it has almost worked everywhere we can see it right here my friends that is the same candle which i'm talking about and as we can see once this candle appeared the next three days the market kept falling more down in a bearish reversal and even right here we can see the candle again appeared and once it has appeared on the support level the market went in a bullish reversal so the point here that this price action is usually usually uh, correct and of course not all there is nothing guaranteed in forex but however what i'm trying to say is i believe that tomorrow the market or, or sorry the usd gpy is gonna continue the fall so you can please keep the signal opened usd chf usd chf did not reverse exactly what i mentioned and however as we can notice it is right now reversing actually look at that it just hit exactly the edge of the safe zone and started the reverse so i think the signal of the ucch uccchf was given on the or sorry it, it was the wrong entry i believe that was correct yes, I, mean, I mean it is true that i have given the wrong entry let me explain the reason because as we can see right here we already had the support level uh, sorry the resistance level not, res not support resistance so we had here the resistance level that resistance has already here become another support level and the market went down all the way to retest the broken resistance level on 0 0.91328 now what we can see that this uh, resistance has already become here another support number one and the market kept falling down to create support number two now we can see the rejection here to break out from the support level and that indicates that the market most likely is going to continue the rise therefore if you have opened your trade for the usdchf please keep it on because right now it's going in almost 29 pips of loss and i believe by wednesday night it's going to go above the entry zone or sorry the entry uh, price level and then we're going to be, be in profit however i think i have to change the take profit level because i really doubt that the price can reach uh, that resistance level with this short time from wednesday until friday therefore that's gonna be our uh, main target right here so we are looking for a profit of 
63 pips of profit uh, I know it is going in loss however please again my friends be patient hopefully it's gonna be a good signal and in profit now let's check the gold the gold was the best signal among all and as we can see actually I wanted to say that that the pair is gonna reverse right here and then again we can buy it again anyway uh, it has already look at that look at that look, look at that the, the strong bearish uh, momentum happened just while I'm making this video anyway uh, the signal of the gold was very profitable one and I hope everyone have taken this signal because the pair has went in total of 260 pips of profit which was fantastic now what's next from the gold let's expect the next thing now as we can see uh, the bearish momentum right now is becoming stronger however I believe in general the gold is gonna still continuing the rise we have to determine what will gonna happen to the gold right now so from my point of view let me just uh, drag this Pre uh, previous re resistance line okay let me just draw another one and actually like that hold on uh, give me a second guys hold on yeah for a moment I got confused about uh, drawing the line here uh, uh, anyway what, uh, what I'm trying to say here that we had here a downtrend and that resistance uh, trend line has been broken out by this bullish uh, candle and right now after hitting the resistance level right there the market went all the way down retesting that broken resistance trend line and right now it's going to continue the rise however we have to understand that we can actually wait for a better moment to buy the gold and that better moment let me just delete the signal because it has already been activated and already profitable one so the signal for the gold is gonna be updated a little bit now as you can see right here we had that we had here that support level and that support level has been breaking out from that uh, uh, resistance and therefore that support is gonna keep its position as a support what I'm expecting right now on the one hour time frame that this support right here uh, it's gonna be respected also and it's gonna become a new resistance and the market might fall a little bit more just for the pullback to continue the formation of retesting that support level right here and right here and from that point the gold is gonna be good for the buy again and definitely it's gonna continue the rise to hit our take profit level so that being said uh, let me just tell you something hold on please okay so the gold should be good for the buy again if you want to if you missed the signal and you want to enter it again to buy on 1898.63 and the safe zone is gonna be ranging of course until the end of that support level right there so it's gonna be ranging for 120 pips and hopefully that's not gonna happen and the take profit level is gonna remain of course the same so we are looking for almost another 200 I would say 300 yeah no we cannot say 300 sorry so we are looking for 292 pips of profit hopefully we will make them from the trade of the gold I have to warn everyone to please pay attention to the news anything can change the signal of the gold please you have to be to increase your awareness about the economic news and the world events or the leaders statements whatever can happen actually even Mr. Trump if he's just a sneeze if he just left the hospital driving his car that can actually affect the prices of the gold and oil you have really no idea how important the health of the president of the united states uh, it has a lot of impact on the market uh, especially when it is uh, a covid 19 condition anyway of course we, miss, we wish mr trump all the best and the full of health and in the end i hope it's gonna be another or, or sorry i hope it's gonna continue to be a profitable week for everyone and in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching